Columbia, South Carolina. Mark Breland's career certainly on a roll from Olympic gold to a world title. This is the 11th round, the first time Mark Breland has ever been in the 11th round, and he's in trouble right now. He is being caught. He has been hit with power punches about six, and he's hurt. And oh, he's there down. it is. He is down with two minutes. Two minutes to go in the 11th round. As a pro, it's his first time knocked down. And he he's is not going to make, make it. it. He has lost his it's championship. Over. Sterling wins it. After a minute and 10 seconds with the count. Joining me now, the former WBA welterweight champion, Mark Breland. Mark, you had never seen that before. What are your thoughts now, having watched that 11th round? Well, it's a nightmare. <laughs> but I'm over it right now. And, um, I just think about the fight every now and then. But um, it's back to the drawing board mm -hmm. and uh, get my title back. All right, there are three ways I'd like to talk about this fight. One before, one during, and one after. Before the fight, you had broken a rib cartilage in two places. Then you injured it again in training. Then you injured it again about a week before the fight. You then went to Lenox Hill Hospital in New York, and the doctor told you, or your manager and, and trainer, Joey Fariello, what? Well, the doctor told me I had injured it in two places. They took a bone scan, mm -hmm. and um, they saw two spots on my cartilage. Um, you know, he said, well, you know, it's difficult to fight like that. I said, yeah, well, it's too late now. <laughs> Why did you decide to go on and fight if you knew you had uh, that problem with your rib? Well, you know, Joe was saying, well, you know, it's up to you. You know, um, I, I'm the fighter. Um, I'm the one going in here. I said, well, it, it doesn't feel that bad. I can do it. And um, all my career, I've been fighting with injuries. Most fighters fight with injuries. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I have bad hands. And I guess at the time, I had a bad rib cartilage. <clears throat> uh, I don't blame that on the fight. I, you know, I feel, well, I could have won, you know, but um, I it started to tire. I, it started to have its effect on me by tiring me out. Well, the fight seemed to draw out a lot of controversy. People wanted to know: was it the ribs, or was it the fact that Joey didn't have Mark in shape? What was the reason? Do you no, think? I, no, it's not Joe's fault. I was in great shape. It's just um, for some reason, mentally, I was shot. For some reason, I I've been trying to find that out mm -hmm. for myself, but um. I realized my legs weren't there after the first round. I don't know why, and, you know, just things weren't right. I, I wasn't myself. You sound as though you're trying to put this fight in such a way in your mind that it's a good experience. Hopefully that you've taken your first loss in six years, and now you've, you've you know, taken it as a slap in the face. Right. Um, you know, things were going too easy for me at one time, and um, I feel, well, you know, this is a setback. But it's not, you know, you got some fighters that are low, that, that lose and, you know, will sulk and just just give up. Okay. And I'm not going to give up. This is something I want. You know, now is I have something to go for. All right, now the characters involved are Joey Fariello, your trainer, Shelly Finkel, your manager, and Lou Duva, your promoter. After this fight is over, there's a little panic. There's a little infighting, people trying to figure out what happened. Now the dust has settled. You've gotten back into thinking that you're going to resume your career. How has everyone's position with you changed or has it no it hasn't changed um everyone's been trying to figure out what happened you know what happened i you know i don't know you know everybody has their own theories but you know the only one that knows is me and once i find out you know i know what i have to do things i things i did to get me here to get me in that position i stopped a lot of things i did as far as the yoga exercises and the weights and stuff i didn't do the weights for about maybe three four weeks before the fight so, um, you know, I know what I have to do to get it back, and believe me, I'm going to do it. What's the timetable? Uh, well, we, we got with Stalling the other day, and um, we were trying to convince him to fight again. He's talking about Hunnigan and all these other guys, you know. Uh, he says he's going to make me wait. So uh, I guess he's scared right now. I mean, you know, um, I feel like this here. I wasn't pushed into the fight. That's what he says. You mm -hmm. know, um, I fight whoever's there. You know, I'm, I was champ. I gave him his shot. He should give me my shot. But um, right now, uh, I'll take off a couple of months. I'll uh, probably be back in the ring by November, December. Get maybe two, three fights, and hopefully he'll pump up his heart and get back in there. All right, Mark. Athletes I've met who tell me they've won once, been down, and won again say the second time is sweeter. Thanks very Always. much, and good luck. Thank you very much. All right, Mark. We'll continue in a moment on ABC's Wide World of Being Sports. the champion of